Hello Sprouts, welcome back to 20 Minutes to Dawn. I'm Crimson Clover and today we're playing Luna with um, the Magipo. Standard mode, Florist. Now the Magic Bow is not one of my favorite weapons. I, I prefer the dual SMG of the... Uh, I have tried out all of the weapons, so I do know that I now have a favorite raids. <laughs> Just like I know I prefer dodge builds and movement speed, I now prefer the dual-handed weapon. Um, I'm not really all that fond of the black hole. Um, magic spears. For the sake of things that get close to me. I am not... <laughs> not all that adept at dodging around the black holes. Not that I should have to dodge around the black holes, but... Ideally, they wouldn't uh, pull the enemies to my location. But, you know, hopefully until I get running gun, the, the magic spears can deal with anything that gets too close to me. Because I have no dodge. Okay. Full speed, fire rate. Um, if you fire a friend with enemy killed by a summon drops a soul heart. I'm not gonna assume that I'm actually gonna make that happen. Now, if you could consider the bullets a summon, that would be another thing entirely. This isn't the back end, though. Let's see. Um, lightning? Zappy zap. I do have the, the runes for burn damage and freeze spread enabled. Dodge, thank you. Dodge is life. Now just, uh, well, we have move speed and we have dodge. Now if we can just get more of both of those. And weapon damage. So much weapon damage. Movement speed. Thank you. Now I have the rune for get a hit point back every five levels. So it'd be nice that if I was already max health that that would just drop on the ground and I could pick it up later. If that has actually been happening and I haven't noticed, please point it out. Cursing everything. Uh, they got too close, they got too close, I don't like. They perceived it is bad. Again, thank you. Now see, a level ten got a hurt. And I don't, I don't think I lost a hurt, and I don't think it dropped it on the ground. So it would be nice if it did. And take the black hole. You could technically choose not to have the black hole, but why would you ever choose not to take the black hole? Uh, explode. 
and I don't mean that rhetorically. If there, if you can think of an actual reason not to take the black hole, uh, please do tell me. The only instance I can currently think of is if you're using the grenade launcher and the you're too close to the black hole and it sh you know, sucks it up close to you. That would be... that would be bad. For every max hit point you have. So... that should be plus 40 damage. I didn't intend this to be a summon build, but... Uh, full disclosure, this is actually the third time I'm recording this. The first time... The first time I hit the pause button, and even though I completed the run, I forgot to hit the unpause button. The second time... I died. Of course. And like... It was to the lightning... Not lightning, the um... The laser boss. So now I know I don't really like the magic bow, and I'm not too fond of the black hole. It is also how well I remembered to change out the runes. I was very disappointed in myself for forgetting to hit the un unpause button. Okay. Bullet damage. Bullet size. <laughs> this one's speediness makes it my second least favorite boss. But at least I don't hate it the way I hate the other one. It's just annoying, the other one is. Leave. I don't want any of them. Now, I could have left the other run in the video, right? I didn't need to record a whole second video, but again, I was on the light, the the laser boss, and that would have added a lot of time onto the video. It didn't really seem fair to ask you to watch both. in the summon. Empower the little spears. Uh, I did not take the spears the last two runs, I just got, uh, you know, so swarmed by enemies. But I am a very stubborn and determined person sometimes, and this is one of those times. I remain apprehensive that the black holes are going to summon the monsters into me. I am not going to be tiny this time. I take vitality. <laughs> I feel like I need the hit points more than ever. Oh. 
No, oh, quick hands. think you should be able to make any of the characters with any of the weapons work, right? And I'm just going to live eternally <laughs> with the dodge skills. These were ordered in a different manner last time. Like, this one was over here, and this one was over there. But, yeah, on hit effects. Because lightning, and fire, and ice, maybe. I don't have ice yet, but I might get ice. And this is at the point where I felt like I stopped doing enough damage to really survive well. So maybe I should have grabbed the exploding ones instead. Yeah, every time you gain a soul heart. Now I don't know if this is cumulative, like if I lose a soul heart and gain it, do I lose the 15 damage? But... I hope not. Like it'd be nice, <clears throat> you know. Because depending on which skills you take, you can only have so many soul hearts, if it was just a permanent buff. It is probably temporary. Otherwise people would be deliberately losing their hit points. I would not be one of those people. Losing the hit points makes me anxious and... I'm going to cling to them as tightly as I can. Um, reload rate. Okay, uh, the hit point would be nice, but I don't want to be big. Big is harder to dodge. Biggest for when you're using Shauna in infinite mode and you can get very big. Okay, um. Relay rate. I do like seeing the arrows being all electrified. Gun mastery, thank you. I may have chosen not to take that last time when I died. It was a mistake. to stop pulling them into me. 
Of course, if I just stood still, it wouldn't happen, but... I'm not gonna rely on dodge quite that much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mages, please. Because the on hit effect. And uh, damage equal to umbrella damage. Lost my soul heart. Do not like. Starting to feel again like my DPS is not enough. Probably just playing poorly though. I'm sure someone's mentally shouting at me that it's uh, a player, <laughs> a skill issue, and not a build issue. And yeah, if I was better at dodging, I wouldn't lose my soul hearts. Piercing. Piercing is good. Piercing when things have been frozen is also extra nice. I think I can content myself to just, if I get past the laser boss again. We'll just, we'll just be happy with that. The sound of the lightning is starting to get a little too much for me. It's like the time I made waterfalls in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It, uh, it was good in theory. It was not so good in practice. Okay. Um. Morsel hearts. Not that I'm keeping any of them long enough to build up a surplus, but... Oh, maybe I need to twirl in circles more. This seems to be working a little better. No, nah, give it back. This this is this is working better a little bit. Not not enough, unfortunately, but a little bit. It would also be nice if the rune that gives you the hit point at <clears throat> when you hit the five levels is uh if you were maxed if it would just um go into a Into a soul heart. So that you got the benefit of it no matter what. As I thought about the every five minutes getting a, a soul heart one instead. And that just felt a little. Like, it would take forever, right? This five minutes is a long time in this sort of game. Especially when you have eyeballs and lightning bosses. <sighs> Level 30. I do not. I 
Eyeballs are the worst. I hate them more than I hate the boss. And I hate the boss. This build is just not great for killing the enemies at a distance. Even the explodey ones aren't as bad. Oh great, now the other boss spawn. It took so long. I have rage? <laughs> no. Holy shield, please. Now at least if I get a soul heart, I don't know I'll be close to getting that back. I... No! I was doing not great, but better. Chip points. At least there's no eyeballs. Could be worse, could be worse, could be worse. I. This is the longest I've ever taken to kill this particular boss. Okay. Reg regenerate one hit point every 90 seconds. Really? I, I wish I'd realized this existed sooner. It would have saved me so much stress. Yes, thank you. Scythe, I think. If I can get one more level, get another hit point back. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh. Tiny in dodging. Hey, we got a hit point back. That's good, that's good. Damage, thank you. So, it's clearly not the build that's bad, it's just- oh, freaking eyeballs. No! Set them all on fire. Well, they should back. Yay! Hit point restored by lost the holy shield. That's okay, that's okay. I think I'm gonna use the strategy I used when I was in the in the um the pumpkin zone, whatever it was called. I'm just gonna keep moving to one side and go through gaps.
Whichever way is more efficient. I hope you all get caught on fire. And hopefully we're just running into infinite trees and none of them take enough damage to die. Because I do not want to deal with that boss either. Do not. We are so close! Got a soul heart? Survive, survive, survive. Yes! Finally! That took so long. That took me like over an hour. <laughs> you may laugh at me for how bad I was. Uh, <laughs> so, please, if you have suggestions on how to play play Luna better, how to use the magic bow better, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I, I hope you enjoyed my suffering. <laughs> it could have been worse. It still could have been worse. Yay for the clutch hit points that came, that we got. Um, <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I appreciate that you've spent some of your time with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.